Hi, my name is Vince Farrell and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today I'm going to show you an overview of a tool that is helpful to anyone working on cast or molded parts such as this uh, power strip cover here. That is the draft analysis command. To start off, this is a tool to make sure that your part has enough draft for what you are trying to accomplish. It doesn't add draft to that part. That is something that you can do either when you are creating a feature such as an extrusion or something you can add afterwards by using the draft command. However, once that draft has been applied, it will check your part based on the parameters you put into it to make sure that it meets your requirements. So what is draft? It's the angle that is put on the side faces of a part so that the part doesn't get trapped in the mold or cast. There are many factors that go into determining the draft angle of a part and I won't be covering that in this video but I will use this part to show you how to use draft analysis to check for draft. So let's take a look at this power strip here. Uh, so basically this will be made out of plastic. So you can see here um, we're going to have it split and there's going to be a core and a cavity in this mold. And what I'm going to do is actually use this top plane as my neutral plane. To go into the draft analysis tool, we go to the evaluate command manager and there's draft analysis next to uh, different tools that we can use to analyze different faces or features of our part. So let's turn on draft analysis. When we go over to the property manager, the first box is looking for the direction of pull. Now the direction of pull is the way to think of the way that the part will be e ejected out of the mold. So if you choose a flat face or plane, it's going to put the direction of pull perpendicular to that face or plane. So as I said, I'm going to use that top plane as my direction of pull. And once you, I select it, you can see a gray arrow here showing the way the direction is going. Now, typical to other SOLIDWORKS commands, if I left click on it, it'll actually switch that direction of pull. Or I can hit the reverse direction key there and it will uh, switch it back or reverse that direction of pull. The next thing we have to input here is the actual draft angle we're checking for. So this again does not apply draft but it measures all the draft on the faces on our part and uh, sees if it meets that requirement there. Now three degree draft angle that I have in there, let me turn that off for a second. If I have the three degree draft angle here you can see I have three categories. Positive draft requires draft and negative draft. So you think of positive draft and negative draft as if there's a light shining on here from the parallel to the part, um, excuse me, direction of pull and shining down on our part. Any face that that hits, it's going to say positive draft or classify it as positive draft. If we have the light on the other side down underneath here, we can see any face that it hits down here, we, uh, it shows up as negative draft. And you can also see when I hover over any of these parts, you can actually read the draft angle next to my cursor. Now what we're really looking for here is requires draft. So we don't want to think of positive draft and negative draft as good and bad. It just matters on that direction of pull. But the requires draft is showing us faces like these faces here where we actually need to add in draft and that's what we're looking for. So I can keep this kind of simple like I have it or I can put in some additional parameters. So the first thing I can actually check on here is this adjustment triad and you can see here it changes to the triad with the rotation ring and that's we can actually use that to adjust the direction of pull dynamically so I can move it around like that and it changes my analysis. Let's put that back. Uh, I want to keep this straight up and down. So I'm going to turn that back off. Then the next thing we can do is turn on this face classification. And what that does is it separates and tells us how many different faces we have that are positive requires and negative draft. This straddle faces here are actually faces that straddle the parting line of uh, the mold. In this case we don't have any so that's good. 
but we can actually show and hide any of those faces by just hitting the glasses in typical SOLIDWORKS fashion. To leave draft analysis on while we're making changes to our part, just hit the green check and say OK. One thing that's very important to note is that if your graphics card isn't up to date with the latest driver, your draft analysis will not stay on. You can also verify your um, graphics card is working properly by using the SolidWorks RX tool, which is here under our res SolidWorks resources. Okay, so. With my draft analysis on, you can see I have my key down here so I can see the different colors and you can customize those colors as well. But you can see some of the faces here that I do need to add draft to. What I can do is go back to my features tab and actually use the draft command to add draft to these faces. So I want to make sure that they're at least three degrees. I'm going to use a neutral plane just like I did when I was selecting the direction of pull, my neutral plane is going to be that top plane again. And then I just specify the faces I want to draft. So definitely want those two. I'll just select those, hit OK to show you how that works. And because the draft analysis is still on, it dynamically changes and lets us know that that's OK. If we want to turn draft analysis off, we just have to toggle the button off and it is no longer displayed on the screen. To Again, to turn it back on, just hit it. But once you go back into the tool, you need to specify your direction of pull again. So in this video, I went over the basics of using draft analysis on a molded part, but the same principles apply to a casted part. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if so, please subscribe to our Hawkridge Systems channel. Thank you so much for watching.